Hello and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to play a game some of my friends loved about when I showed it on Facebook. It's about typing. Yeah, typing, you know, like keyboard typing. And it's a little, you know, like those old flash games. And there are many variants of this. There used to be one where you could shoot a robots with, with your keyboard. But this one is about racing. And I'm going to try to type as fast as I can to be some other guys that are supposedly as bored as me and doing this in the other side of the internet. And that they say, let's just rock it and try to type faster than them. Because I am recording, right? Yeah. All right, let's rock. This is my car, I bought it with quite some effort. And we're going to show them what who's boss. <laughs> Here we go. It's a lot easier. Interestingly, they were invented by accident when a scientist walked next to a radar tube and noticed afterwards that a chocolate bar he had in his pocket melted. And I was number one. How much was that? 81 words per minute with a 76% accuracy. That's pretty dang good. That's a lot of our average. I type really fast. And with that, I could easily get a job in an office. There are some superhuman typing speeds out there in the world, but mine is pretty dang good. Let's actually see if we can check who the top writing speeds this game has. This dude types at 100 words a minute. That's the fastest he's ever gone. Oh, there are others that are faster than him. Ah, sword by tough sweet. Let's see the fastest one ever. 262 words per minute. Wow. And how much accuracy does that do? 63%. You know, it's kind of hard to see. Because when you go so fast, it's really hard to type so... to type well. Okay, let's do another race. We're going to do quite a few until we reach you know, 10 minutes. Classical YouTube. I really don't know that YouTube videos are really supposed to do 10 minutes, but PewDiePie said it once and I believe it, so. The privacy policy, let me come focus, that you sign. Most people don't. This is not surprising. Oof. They say it would take you about 80 days to read all privacy policies that you that you sign during a year, and we win once again. God damn it! I'm rocking today. 77 warpers minute, not that good, but it's something. And all these guys with I am starting to believe I am the only player here because all these names just sound so damn bad. They look randomly generated, and either they didn't like. Playing, making the self they own it. You know who the hell calls who the hell calls himself or herself fast typer C13? What the hell? That just doesn't sound like someone something anyone will choose. Let me check the top hundred of my game. Uh-huh. Retro West. No, that's so yeah, this sounds this sounds like a real name. I can guess that this is a real dude. This is someone that is really playing because no machine in this world would dare to choose such a bad username. So, whatever your username is, hello there, nice to see you, man. Okay, let's rock and let's try run again once again, and then we're going to switch over to the boat races. Hmm. Okay, let's rock. Let's try to do it even faster and even more precise this time. Various colors in the flask of world states yet there is one color that is underrepresented it is purple there are only two states Nicaragua and Dominicana that uses it in their flags wow what number one again Hell, I'm one hell of a typist, haven't I? 
Oh, that was really nice. And lastly, for switching over the boats, I'm trying to go. I'm gonna try a hell out of do. <coughs> my my tongue is missing, <laughs> messing up. Just like just like my tapping. All right, I'm going to try and do a round with absolute precision. Let's try and not miss a single. <laughs> that is a human user name right there. Ward, famous, Loch Ness, Mons. Ooh. Well, let's just rush it. Create it with this Scotland. But few people know that Scotland has its own national animal, which is just as interesting. Their national. Well, it's a unicorn. The other day, I actually managed to read all the prompts they had, and this one is new. So maybe they're switching them over every few days, or who knows? Well, one more. Let's try and do it perfect this time. No, huh? We can give up on that. It's snowing today. Let's give it a try. Hey there, you're gonna. You know what? Hell with it. I'm gonna beat this guy. No, even in 600 BC, an Indian physician Sushruta was able to, uh, I have read in this one, brain surgeries. He is described as father of surgery and oh, the father of plastic surgery. He is the author of the compendium oh God, of Susruta. God damn it, got defeated by almost everyone instead of that bad name person. Well, let's try about races now, shall we? We're already in the second half of the video, so we might as well. Boat race? Uh, this race will be very much the same, but with boats. So it's different. Yeah, surely. Let's try. Chicago City refer to as the Windy City. I actually like the music, contrary to what you may think, the turn is from two journalists, journalists who believed the city to be full of greedy people, also called windbags. That I don't think that, how do you call that thing? You know, these, these things. I think they weren't used well in that part. Hmm, oh, let's do it again. Let's rock. One more and light, let's try ahead to go ahead and do the perfect rise. Oh, come on, you're good at that win. Are you chasing after me? Can you guess? The age of the youngest US mayor ever. I bet you can't. He was only three. Based on an old tradition, Robert Tuft was drowned out of a hat, directly making him. Mayor of Minnesota. Wow. Well, that's something I didn't know until now. Quite a fun fact. Come on, you're good at win. I f I wish we could actually do, but you know, like telling, I'm gonna fight this dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna go right straight ahead this dude, and let's see how he likes it. But well, sadly, we can we can't do that. So let's take a Atom ride. That's what it called. That's what my car is called, Atom. And let's try to beat him this time. The one knows that, oh come on, that their grand, oh come on, that is the best cook on the planet. The owners of one New York restaurant knew it too. They became the first restaurant in the world that hires grandmothers as their chefs. Uh, it seems like my fingers are getting tired, I'm just not getting it right now. 
Well, um, this is about to reach the 10 minutes I always seek for. So I hope you like this video, I hope you subscribe, and share it with your friends so they can learn to tie as fast as me, and hopefully help me go on in this YouTube thing. So thanks again for watching, hope you like it, and see you next time. Bye! Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile cause in my heart it's not worthwhile